So today, we are going to be using the quadratic formula to solve equations. And the equations are going to be in this form, ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. So make sure your quadratic is in this form, where all the terms are on one side of the equal sign, and it's equal to 0 on the other side. Because when it's in this form, the quadratic formula says that x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c, all divided by 2a. All right, now that looks like a lot, but actually, once we get it into this formula, it's just order of operations, okay? So, let's do an example so you can see this in action. All right, our example here is 3x squared minus 9x minus 7 is equal to 0. Okay, now first thing first, make sure all your terms are on the left side equal to 0. And luckily for us, it is. All right, if there were any terms on the right-hand side, we'd have to use algebra to get them over on the left-hand side and make sure it equals 0 on the other side. Okay, now, next step. The number next to x squared is my a. In this case, a is going to be 3, because 3 is next to x squared. The number next to x is my b. And notice, in this case, it's negative 9x, so b is negative 9. And then the number at the end, without a variable next to it, your constant is c. In this case, c is negative 7. Okay, so now that we figured all that out, now we can use this formula. x is equal to the opposite of b. b is negative 9, so the opposite of b is going to be positive 9. Plus or minus the square root of b squared. Now, b is negative 9, so I'm going to do negative 9 squared. And notice, I put parentheses around the negative 9 because if I was to put this into a calculator, I would want to make sure all of this was squared. Not just 9 squared, but negative 9 is squared. If you don't put in the parentheses, it's going to square the 9, but not square that negative sign. All right, minus 4 times a times c. 4 times a times c. All that's square rooted. And then that whole thing is divided by 2 times a. 2 times 3. Now, at first you're going to say, oh my goodness, that's a huge mess. But really, like I said before, it's the order of operations. So let's simplify this a bit. And technically, if you have a calculator fancy enough, you could type this whole thing into your calculator. But this is simple arithmetic here. Okay, order of operations says, if we're going to simplify the inside of the square root, we've got to do the exponents first. Negative 9 squared is positive 81. After the exponents, before we can subtract, we've got to multiply next. Okay? 4 times 3 is 12, times negative 7 is negative 84. So this is minus negative 84. All divided by 2 times 3, which is 6. Okay, so this doesn't look so bad. We're starting to simplify this down a bit. All right, now let's finish off the uh, square root there. 81 minus negative 84, subtracting a negative is like adding a positive, so this becomes 165. So this whole thing has simplified down quite a bit. This is now x is plus or minus the square root of 165 divided by 6. All right. So now it's just a matter of using our calculator. And I like to have my students round to the nearest tenth, so that's what I'm going to do here. We're going to get two different answers here. Okay. Remember, that plus or minus means there's two different answers. One of them is 9 plus the square root of 165 divided by 6. The other answer is going to be 9 minus the square root of 165 divided by 6. And that's what that plus or minus represents. It represents that there's going to be two different possible ways to get your answer, one adding and one subtracting. All right, so let's use our calculator and get this. All right, 9 plus the square root of 165 is this, and then I'm going to divide that whole thing by 6, and I get about 3.6. And then for the other one, I've got 9 minus the square root of 165, and then I divide that whole thing by 6, I get about negative 0 0.6. And those 
are your two possible values of x that solve the equation. There it is. Okay? So, when you're doing these, first off, always make sure your equation is equal to zero. And then, pay attention to the positives and negatives for a, b, and c. But after that, plug it into your quadratic formula and then do the order of operations. And your calculator will do the heavy work. All right, so hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. Also subscribe because it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math, and I'll see you next time.